if you stand in one place long enough, the crazies will crawl out from underneath their stones. And one crazy did just that and accosted a young reporter. He was about to go live, since he's reporting on the institutional racism and misogyny in the Met Police Force. Yes, you're standing there minding their own business outside of Scotland Yard. Until Pat McGuinness, that's his name, decided to confront her. Excuse me, why do you keep calling people racist on your channel, which is part of the anti-white agenda? You covering this story is just validating the, the witch hunt against white people, which is racism. Why do you continue to do that? The country's being destroyed, the Metropolitan Police is being destroyed because of this witch hunt, and you're here validating it. I was reporting on the news. Well, it's like she says. She's just reporting on the news. But who is this pond like Pat McGuinness? And I wonder which Tory MP supports him. I'll let you know in a mo. On the news. I'm just I'm well, just that, that's, what, that's what they said. I'm just uh, following orders. I'm literally just, there's a report out today. I'm just reporting what, yeah, well, they, what they've said. Well, why don't you say there's no such thing as racism? The party I belong to, we're against bullying. We don't recognise these seven politically correct sins, which is racism, Islamophobia, homophobia, transphobia, anti-Semitism, and misogynism, and sexism. These terms are anti-free speech, anti-white, and they're destroying our country. All right, thank you. Please, please, please report that, that, that yeah, I'm just about the anti-racism campaign is an anti-white campaign. Oh, thank you. I'm thank you. What happens if you continue to refuse that language? We're going to be back here in the next 25 years. It's obviously not her first rodeo. She did an excellent job of ignoring Pat McGuinness. So who is Pat McGuinness? After a little bit of research, I found his Twitter. And he's clearly uh, anti-immigration. Well, anti-anyone who isn't white. And to my amazement, he is a member a founding member of a political party. At first I thought it must be the BNP, but no, they call themselves the National Housing Party UK. And he says, who agrees that the estimated 2 million uh, illegal immigrants in the UK should be detained indefinitely until they organise their paperwork and leave? The NHP UK campaign to introduce a mandatory three-year prison sentence for illegal entry into the United Kingdom. Ain't he lovely? No, he's not. So I had a look on his website, that I did. And I saw a picture of Pat McGuinness founding member and John Lawrence. It's like a rerun of Psycho, Norman Bates 1 and 2. Oh. And they're worrying about immigrants. I'll be more worried about them. Well, these clowns, on their website they state, the National Housing Party United Kingdom officially registered as a political party with the Electoral Commission in April 2022. Now, the two founding members are John Lawrence and Patrick McGuinness. Now John Lawrence is the leader and nominating officer and Patrick McGuinness is the treasurer and press officer. Why can't we just call them bigots and be done with it? Hmm. Now John and Pat felt that the time had come to start their own political party because at that time there was no other viable option available with the policies that they wanted to campaign for. They go on to say that their two main policies, which are non-negotiable, are a complete halt to permanent settlement immigration and to leave the 1951 UN Refugee Convention. Can we just lock this pair up and be done with it? Hmm. Nice thought. But I mentioned about a certain MP. That supports Pat McGuinness and John Lawrence of the National Housing Party, United Kingdom. It's amazing the fact that they're actually even registered. 
as a political party. Blime me. So I have a look. I know. Let's have a little scroll down the National Housing Party UK's a tweet. Do 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 do. do. Oh, scroll on down. Oh, oh, look at. Oh, okay, you get all the usuals, your usual stuff on here. Yeah, all the stuff to try and turn people against immigration and just people in general. Oh, look, Lee Anderson MP. Oh, is tweeting and retweeting their tweets. Of the National Housing Party UK. But why are we surprised? We already know he's a racist and a bigot himself. He's just another Tory bigot. You tell me. Leave it in the comments down below. Ta-ta.